What if I told you that the first computer worm was never built to be malicious? In fact, in 1988, a student at Cornell University named John Morris wanted to figure out how big the internet really was at that time. So he built something called a computer worm. A computer worm is a self-replicating software. Unlike in a virus, you don't need to click anything or do anything. Once it gets in, it spreads from one computer to the other. And within hours of him deploying his worm, networks in the United States began to slow down and crash. About 10% of what we considered the internet at that time went offline. And remember, in 1988, the internet was still very small. It was mostly universities and government labs. And so when it broke, everyone noticed. In today's term, think of it like sending one text message to all your contacts but it keeps sending it over and over and over until none of your contacts can use their phone. That event famously became known as the Morris Worm, and it caused millions of dollars in damages and led to the creation of the first computer emergency response team. And that also became the foundation for how we handle cyber incidents today. Remember, we talk about breaking the internet today. John Morris actually broke the internet, and he didn't mean to do that. And the Morris Worm didn't just break computers back then. It walked the world up to how connected we really are. Think of it this way. Back then, it was probably about 100 to 1,000 devices that were linked together. Today, there are billions. Phones, cars, homes, and systems that run entire cities. And it only takes one line of code to remind us of how connected we all are. Every hack or cyber incident tells a story. And this one reminds us that in 1988, a simple mistake still echoes through the digital world today.